Hi, I'm Cindy Abbott Leitro, and this is Behind the Camera. Today we're going to be talking with an independent filmmaker, uh, with one of many that are popping up all over uh, this region, and Travis Carlton is with us. Travis, you know, it, it's funny because you're very young, but you have been making films since you were even younger. You knew at an early age that making films was what you wanted to do. Yeah, it was always just fun. So it was just like how me and my friends would play. I mean, once you grow out of like imaginary running around the woods make-believe, then you can just sort of shift to a movie and suddenly for the rest of your life, you're justified to just play with <laughs> toys and tell stories. So. Well, what was the first movie you ever made? I mean, how long <laughs> was it? Do you know? Because you have won many awards for short films. Yeah. So I don't know if that was a short film or a long film. <laughs> so. It's going to sound silly, but I didn't know short films existed when I was a kid. So the first movie I made was uh, two hours. And oh, geez. It was, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know if it was entertaining for two hours, but um, and I was 14 at the time. Um, it took me two or three feature films um, before I realized that like short films existed and that they make sense. Because I just you never go to a movie theater and see a short film when I was growing up, so. And you grew up in Jamestown mm -hmm. and went to Buff State College yeah. and just kept making films there. Uh, what what uh, is a particularly interest now, in June you had a premiere of a very compelling movie called Mother's Day. Yeah. And it's going to be out there for the public in April uh, yeah. this month. And I just wanted to talk about the making of that because that is a very personal story. It deals with mental illness. It mm -hmm. deals about your relationship with your mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I decided to just sort of write this story based on as accurately as I could um, with no embellishments of just a slice of life of uh, a little episode my mother and I had, um, one of many. Um, she's a wonderful woman and um, at times also struggling with mental illness. So. I thought it was important to sort of tell a story, yeah, just honestly and accurately that's not making mental illnesses into like a commodification or exaggeration, which we see a lot of in Hollywood. Um, and sort of as a way, I'd felt really isolated at the time, like five years ago. I kind of thought I was the only one kind of going through a relationship like that. And of course, we're not. 20% of Americans deal with this, so that means basically everyone, we, someone we know is dealing with this. And, well, in fact, yeah. I, I watched some of the comments of the people that came to your sort of red carpet that yeah. you gave back in June, and they were saying it was as if, you know, he were speaking to me. And the person that plays your mother is, I think, one of the most gifted actresses mm -hmm. that, you know, not just in Buffalo, but an incredibly gifted a a actress, mm -hmm. Lisa Ludwig. Yeah. And I can't say enough about it. It, it, it just <laughs> yeah. amazing. Yeah, and she she did so so um, well. I mean, I know I'm biased, but she she brought a very complex and raw performance that, I mean, couldn't couldn't have been better. I'm I'm more. So tickled she. She won Best Actress in the Queen's World Film Festival it was in, um, and well deserved. Um, anyone who is a fan of Lisa should definitely watch this. It's a it's a very special. People have said that it's you know it's it's different and more um, vulnerable and and I. I really appreciate that, and I think, yeah, it's great. Well, I was just going to say, too, and if you, you aren't familiar with Lisa, you will become a fan of Lisa <laughs> once you see this film. Tell me about the making of it, though, because yeah. what is, not only is the subject matter incredibly moving um, and powerful, but the way you shot this, it's done in, like, one yeah. camera move. There aren't cuts. Right. Talk about that. This is crazy. Yeah. How, how long is the entire film and how long does that camera move go? Yeah, so it's a two hour film and, and it's a, we say it's a continuous shot film. It's like, you know, The Revenant or Birdman, 1917. It's, it's becoming like a, a style. We chose it for this because, um, for one, it's a story that happens in real time and it was about this conversation or argument and the the characters couldn't, you know, just like cut away or, or change time, you know, and, and we didn't want to add any false uh, falsities to the to the film. So we're just there like a fly on the wall or a shadow in this environment and the actors have to get their way through it and it adds a lot of tension. Um, so we do have a few hidden cuts in it. You know, we at one point we fly a drone for two miles. Um, so we switch from the drone to a, a more standard camera. Um, so we have a, a few designed hidden cuts, but 
We performed this movie four times all the way through without interruption. Um, and so, you know, you see takes in it that are over an hour long, which, yeah, and it shows in the continuity of performance. I think that helps uh, with the performances from Lisa, who's a, a stage actress primarily. It's her first feature film. Um, and Mike Wagner also comes from, from theater. So we produced it kind of like a play and kind of like a film. And it, yeah. I, I was just saying you said that that is difficult for the performers, but mm -hmm. what is also difficult, I would think, for all of you that are producing it, yeah. that that is grueling, that that must have been emotionally draining. Yeah, there was, there was a, the emotions, I think, kind of get checked at the door as far as like personal input, you know, through a lot of rehearsals, that's where a lot of that came out. Um, there's so much adrenaline and logistics going into um, what's going to be a two hour take every night that we shoot it. Um, and, you know, the actors are certainly becoming exhausted through their emotions. And then the crew, you know, so outside there's, you know, just the, the DP who is operating the camera um, and then a boom operator. Everyone on our team is from Buffalo and Western New York, well, by the way. Well, you said team. Yeah. And I think that is unusual. I mean, I know that when you produce a film, you, you have a team. Right. But you sort of, it, it works as a unit. It's a creative unit in which everyone seems to have a role. And yeah. that, I would think, to be a part of that must be really, uh, I don't know, rewarding, very rewarding. Yeah. I, it's I, like a family. It's interesting you call it a team. Yeah, I never really, we say that all the time, but you, you're right. It's not a crew. We're not like really for hire. We, you know, when we need to, we sort of bring a new, one new person into the team. Um, it feels much more like, uh, yeah. And you like, probably have to be accepted by everyone <laughs> because if you're not, that could set everything off. I, it is. There is a culture there. Um, a lot like, you know, like a sports team or like, uh, you know, most of us work jobs, like full-time jobs. There is a lot to be gained, I think, from having, um, you know, established culture and consistency. And I think a lot of the freelance world gets that inherently because they're together a lot, but maybe it's not all with the same unit, you know, so. What, um, for you, what do you want to accomplish with this film? I mean, it's done, it's edited, mm -hmm. it's going to be out there. What is it that you would yeah. like to see? Um, of course, there's two things. I mean, from a practical point of view, this is our team's first feature film. Um, we all volunteered to make it. It's, it's, you know, we're just sort of scraping by. So for one, it's to practice making a film and to get it out there, to express a story that is important to us. Um, and also to sort of like establish to the outside world that, you know, we're into ourselves, that we're capable of making an ambitious project um, and hopefully able to secure funding in the future for, you know, so that we aren't all committing two years of work for free. Um, but, you know, then of course, from the emotional storytelling point of view, it was to shed some light on the nuance of mental illness and um, and not to... Yeah, there was just kind of a concern that, like, you know, because mental health isn't always these bombastic superhero, supervillain characters or comedy characters. Um, and it would have gone a long way when I was younger to know that, you know, what my mother was dealing with was a sickness, not just strange decisions, you know. So. And I think there are many people that, that have that same sort of difficulty. Yeah. Um, we have just about a minute uh, left, and I, I just want what would you hope to accomplish with uh, you, mm -hmm. you, you said about creatively but you know um you know being a part of the film industry are you committed to a buffalo for you to be making films mm -hmm. in the future or do you want to somebody recognize this so i can go to los angeles or new york or whatever yeah no i'm very happy to say that our my home and uh, most of our team's home is buffalo and um you know there are so many interesting stories to tell and i i just don't have a lot of interest in, in going to the um, LA or the, the machine. I even struggle with like trying to tailor movies for uh, specifically, you know, commercial reasons. You know, that always makes me start to feel cringy. I think you need to make a movie for yourself first and then um, an audience will be found from that. Uh, it's more so, yeah. of movie as an art in yeah. a sense, what you're doing and with this, uh, your cooperative group of yeah. people that, that are working yes. with you.
We love Buffalo and we'll, we'll be making stories as long as we can here. Well, I would encourage all of you out there to, to take a look. It's called Mother's Day. And if you go, the best way to find out where and when it's going to be shot, you know, a broadcast would sure. be to go to what your website, and that is? It's uh, panamericanfilms.com. And, you know, that's always going to be a hub for anything that's coming up uh, or where you can get the film. Travis, thank you, and, and much uh, success. I'm so happy that yeah. uh, you're making films here in Buffalo and that you have such a great creative group with yeah. you. Thank you for the time. It's awesome. Great. All right, and we hope that you'll join us next uh, Behind the Camera.